Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so final video um, on handstand walks today. Okay, so this is for when you've got to grips with your handstand walks. Okay, you're relatively consistent. You can do, let's say, five feet every time you kick up. And obviously then you want to develop um, the strength and endurance and obviously the kind of confidence to be able to do bigger sets of handstand walks, which obviously when we're talking about doing these in a workout setting. All right, so a little bit like we mentioned in the last video, that kind of open workout, say, where you have to do 25 feet at a time um, is really going to help you when you have that capacity. Okay, so when it comes to developing your handstand walk capacity, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Obviously with the handstand walk movement itself, which is really important, okay? But then also using some of the movements we've just spoken about um, to help build the same kind of muscular endurance in specific muscle groups in a way where you don't necessarily need to worry about falling, okay? So obviously when it comes to developing your handstand walks, the first thing you want to aim to do is get consistent regardless of so with no fatigue um, doing a specific distance ideally that minimum distance wants to be about five foot okay once you're consistent there then you can start to think about stringing together longer distances um, but also doing them in conjunction with other exercises okay so obviously simplest way to do this um, which we'll use is just getting you to do just for example say 10 sets of five foot handstand walk Nice and easy, no time pressure, okay? And we're just looking for consistency over that distance. All right, from there, we might start to put it into an every minute on the minute setting. So it may so maybe say every minute on the minute for 10 minutes, five foot handstand walk, okay? Again, there's not too much time pressure. If you're doing that five foot unbroken first time, you're gonna be able to, you know, to do that in kind of 10 seconds. So you're still gonna get a reasonable amount of recovery, but just having the addition of the clock does just make you think a little bit harder. Okay, obviously from there, then we can start to look at either extending the distance or we can start to look at making it a little bit more difficult. Okay, so throwing in other exercises um, that are gonna make your handstand walks a little bit more challenging. Okay, so starting off just with exercises that might get your heart rate up. So things like, you know, jumping on the assault bike first and then going into a handstand walk, okay? Or using exercises that are gonna get your heart rate up, but also gonna be working similar muscle groups to what you're gonna need for your handstand walks, okay? So an example of that might be doing something like, say, five rounds, um, 20 GHD sit-ups, 10 chest facing the wall, shoulder taps um, into your handstand walk, okay? So there, obviously, you're gonna fatigue your core a little bit, you're gonna fatigue your shoulders a little bit, and then you're gonna have to do your handstand walk, okay? Which is gonna make it a bit more challenging, and it's gonna help prepare you for when you do them in a workout, okay? Then obviously, from there, then you're gonna to start to do them in more of a workout setting, okay? Um, when are you doing them in a workout? All right, obviously from a coach's perspective, especially when it's designed as, say your intense conditioning piece of the day, okay? Obviously what we wanna make sure you're doing um, is keeping your heart rate up nice and high, okay? So that it doesn't become just a slower paced workout because every time you come to your handstand walks, your intensity is dropping, okay? Obviously aside from that, we can also use some accessory exercises um, to help you build that capacity, okay? So some really good ones just to get you spending time on your hands and moving um, is things like plate step ups or step overs, um, lateral wall walks, okay? Again, because it's putting you in that handstand position, okay? Obviously because of the walls there, you're not gonna overbalance. So you can spend an accumulative amount of time which we can easily progress week on week um, to build that strength and endurance upside down whilst also, you know, moving your hands. And then another exercise that we can use sometimes, okay, to get you confident with your handstand walks is your walks into the wall, okay? So these ones obviously say so start in maybe five foot away from the wall and walking all the way in, okay? So you walk into the wall in a handstand. You wanna have enough control over, over your position that when you do get to the wall, you can hold it, okay? You don't just hit the wall and fall, all right? And then obviously, over time, you can increase the distance away from the wall. So maybe then you go to say eight foot and then 10 foot. And over time, you gradually build that confidence, build that control over the movement, and you get really consistent with your handstand walks, okay? Okay, so that's the kind of process you wanna go through when it comes to mastering your handstand walks, okay? Like I said in the first video, regardless as to where you're at with them now, it's always worth spending some time thinking about the basics, making sure you're doing the fundamental part of the movement correct because it's gonna help you keep progressing much better over the long run.